Sup guys, it's Ten Kosh, and today we are taking a look at Demon Survival uh, Roguelite RPG. Another survival game, my, one of my favorite genres. You walk around the battlefield, you try to survive. This one is special. First of all, your character have only melee weapon, so you start and you gotta get close at the start. Second one, it have really unique experience. It's harder than others, so it requires more skills and uh, since you're close to the enemies that adds additional feeling of you know stress when you play it so it's it's pretty cool it's more hardcore let's put it like that there are levels there are things so let's go and take a look at the game right now so let's go into the game demon survival tutorial no oh, i'll be okay uh upgrade your equipment and become more powerful we didn't agree to go for the tutorial but we still get it uh, complete missions to rank up and unlock new abilities, defeat 25 slimes, the, the quest, complete the chapter to unlock the next one, uh, progress through the map mode and rank up to unlock the survival mode, okay, so, we start here, and here's our guy, we move around, and this is survival game just like you know it, uh, the one where we gotta travel around the battlefield and you know try to take out enemies without them taking you out the fun thing though that we have the melee character so we can't actually use the ranged damage here so we gotta be careful on how do we fight those guys and do you hear the music guys it's so good i like it we leveled up so uh knife throw a knife in the direction of the player is going energy bolt um Let's go throwing knife, so I, I kind of like it. That might actually help us a little bit. Ooh, what was that? How did I... How did I do the jump? I don't know why, why it happened and how it happened. But it was pretty cool. So, we're taking damage here, guys. And we... Like, out of all the survival games, this one is pretty hardcore. Because um, you are melee character, you don't use the magic. So... Drop a fireball to nearby enemies. That's what I like. Now we are not at melee anymore. And we can start farming. And like here, there are quests. So you go through the missions. And our mission is to finish up so some more slimes. We got some gold as well. And in order for us not to die, we gotta be careful. Quest completed. Returning in 9 seconds. So let's go. We're good. We survived. And we finished the first mission with the slime. Level 1. Um, why only 1 star though? I don't know. Probably we need to clear more. We got 2 minutes that we need to survive. So let's go. Alright, so the gameplay is pretty straightforward. I think we will skip to the part where we will get more stuff for us. Right now, honestly... Oh, you can... I get it, I get it. You can swipe. To the... Alright, so when your hair is blue, you can... Oh, wow, that's a big enemy. Uh, you can swipe in order to run away from the enemy. Uh, for other moving modes, you kind of use the D-pad right here. And like for us, the main priority will be getting the level up and getting the ability to attack someone else. Because right now, we don't have it. Uh, magnetism, movement speed, and the knife. Again, same stuff. Uh, let's get the magnetism so we will attract the things from the further areas. Oh my god. The controls are a little bit sloppy. I will tell you that. And I think we will complete this level no problem to be honest because, you know, we just gotta kite the enemies and it's not that hard. It's not that hard, guys. Look at that. That I, I call it cat. It looks like a cat to me. Like slime and a cat. And oh my god, my knife missed. I have one health left, so I, I can die really fast. I need the healing stuff. Alright, we take the enemy out, and that's not enough. We don't got XP there. So, as you can see, sometimes you gotta be careful. There we go, level up. Uh, stake fireball. Let's get the fireball again so we can attack the enemies that are getting close to us. Fireball have a really, really good rate of fire, and we got healing here, so we're good. As long as you get the range damage, I think you're getting better. <laughs> Alright. So, 30 seconds left. I think we will survive this. Just gotta be careful and don't rush too much. I like how the game is built, though. That it's kinda... Uh, level after level, stage after stage, you are getting harder and harder challenges. I like it. That's not that straightforward as you expect it to be. 
All right, seven seconds left. We're almost there, four seconds. Look at that, we're getting better. We're, we're getting our health back because we got the fireball. We're good. So, what do we get for this? We get additional slime stars. So, yes, we got to complete several slime missions in order to get all that. Uh, let's see. We can do upgrades. So, uh, with the gold that we get in the game, we can do upgrades and... Uh, equipment. So, there are different things. We got the wand as well. We got the rusted, rusted sword and the wand. Maybe I should have went through the tutorial. Spells. So, upgrading the... For example, the fireball. What, what do we do with this? We can't upgrade it yet. And higher rank required to unlock the new ranks. And here we got the uh, paid option. Double the gold from the enemies and remove ads and get some gold. Okay. So, um, we need 25 gold to do any upgrades. So, we can't afford anything. Okay. I wonder if we can use the ranged weapon by default. Like wand or something. Because... I shouldn't have skipped the tutorial, I think. <laughs> but so far, I only see the sword. Maybe we gotta buy the wand in order to use it, like, pay 25 and then you'll get that ability. We gotta take out a lot of enemies in this level and honestly, like, there are a lot of them. Oh, wow, the controls can be pretty sloppy. So what happens when you die, by the way? Probably you start from the scratch. You got a second chance, though. That's pretty cool. No thanks. So guys, I finished the tutorial actually and there was nothing new, so yeah, I haven't found a way to use the wand as a weapon. Probably we gotta buy it so we will get the basic range damage and oh my god, my attack rate is so low guys, this is so bad. So yes, the idea of this game is that you gotta kite the enemies and as you kite them you will get... Let's get the physical damage maybe, I don't know. The knife seems not to be very intuitive for us because we don't throw it forward too much, so let's get the stake so our attacks will be stronger. By not that much, to be honest. Since our basic damage is like 6, now it's 6.6. .6, which is not that much anyway. So, yeah, we need a fireball and it's second upgrade usually. I don't know if those are linear and you always get them or it's based on, you know, on your luck. Alright. Oh, 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 my health is low already again. Because I'm, I don't want to stay back from the enemies. I like, I like to go rough. And that's actually what's making problems for me. We got the fireball now, so there we go. There we go. So much better now. As you can see, the enemies are suffering more. And we actually need this in this level. Otherwise, we will be surrounded by the enemies. Let's get more orbs. Maybe we will get something else. Look at that. The damage is so much better right now. Significantly. Oh. Careful, don't don't get hit. We need uh, we need that health. A boss has appeared now. How fun is that? Oh wow! Okay, hello there. Uh, drop the bolt. Okay, we need we need that. So we gotta evade the boss attacks. When he's going like this, he's going for me. He's the last man standing. So, oh the controls! No, the control. Oh why why God? My hands were sweaty and I almost like oh my God. Let's collect the gold, by the way. The boss got a lot of gold. And my sweaty palm managed me to... You saw that, right? It was funny. New spell learned holy power. Now I'm red. I, I advanced from slime to red. New rank. So what do I think about Demon Survival after playing it for a little bit? It's a solid game. Solid survival game. I like how the stage are separated. How it's all balanced out. Because it feels really, really good. Uh, uh, the spells unlock as you go, that's cool as well, because you can try them on, instead of, you know, focus on the favorite ones. And level up your character is fun as well. The only drawback that I can see early on for some players, that it might be a little bit hard and stressful, because you can get killed really fast, because you gotta be close to the enemies. And that sprint ability, the swipe move, Sometimes you accidentally activate it and you can have trouble with that. You can be killed because of that. Other than that, the game is pretty fun. And guys, I think that will be it for this episode of Demon Survival uh, RPG here. A really solid experience. I hope you liked it as well when I played it with you guys here. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this video. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Moreover, there is a playlist in the video description with other videos about this game and up about other games. More reviews, that kind of stuff. So you will find something useful there for sure. 
Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stay and coach out. Have a good one. Bye.